Hello there, or should I say, hey bro. For a long time, when Germans thought of startups, they thought of hipsters with stupid facial hair sitting around in lofts working on, well, a lot of the time no one knew what they were working on. But a couple of years back, something crazy started happening. These companies began seriously adulting and venture capital investors suddenly took notice. The deals grew more and more frequent and larger and larger. In 2021, despite the coronavirus pandemic, German unicorns were created on a near weekly basis. So what's up, man? Let's look at one example. When the Munich process mining startup Salonas achieved its 1 billion euro valuation in 2018, German unicorns were still being described as a rare sight. Fast forward just three years and Salonis took in $1 billion in fresh capital in a single round of funding. That made it a Decacorn, a company valued at over 10 billion US dollars. That's not enough. Then take Berlin's software provider Contentful. Its innovative and user-friendly digital content platform is now used by nearly one in three companies in the Fortune 500 stock index. In July 2021, the firm raised $175 million from foreign investors. Increased flows of funding have completely remade the German startup ecosystem. Germany reached its 2020 level of venture capital in the first half of 2021 alone. Government and private initiatives to kick the startup scene into overdrive could amount to up to 50 billion euros. And that's changing the very nature of the German economy. Consultants McKinsey see the potential for 41,000 new startups by 2030 and a market capitalization of 2.3 trillion euros. That would be more than the total worth of Germany's current blue chip DAX 40 stock index. The epicenter of this disruption is Berlin. The German capital currently attracts more than half of venture capital in Germany. And the four European firms that were quickest to become unicorns all come from Berlin. Flink, for instance, only needed four months. Berlin is the city that has always been the melting pot for creative people from all around the world to come here, to meet here, they want to be here, get inspired. And this is a, a big factor for the talents when it comes to the tech scene. It was the field of experiments for very individual businesses and I think it was the startup movement was created somehow here and then automatically it was also transferred into corporations or industries. And there you see that regions, other regions, other, other cities understood the methodology and that's applied and that's why Digital Hub uh, Initiative, for example, or also we are connected to other cities and try to leverage the different industries and individuals together. But startups come in all shapes and sizes and they don't only deal with fintech or food delivery. Fledgling Berlin company Boreal Light, for instance, helps to provide clean drinking water to poorer parts of Africa. These machines are fully designed and manufactured in Berlin. We are producing water, desalinating water, purifying water by solar energy, and it's just by solar energy. The company won the 2019 Entrepreneurs Award from Germany's development bank KFW. If you think of the German startup ecosystem, you probably think of Berlin and Munich as great startup locations. And of course, this makes sense. However, there are other cities also, such as Hamburg in the north with a big port and the many logistics startups, or Frankfurt in the center of Germany, where there are many fintechs and banking startups. So if you are interested in the German startup sector, maybe think of all the other cities as well. So you see, Germany's startup ecosystem is anything but a joke. If you think your business idea would fit into Europe's leading hub for innovative fledgling firms, get in touch with us at gtai.com. We're glad to help and as a government agency, all our services are free. Who knows, maybe with a bit of luck, your business could be the next member of this growing herd. <laughs>